back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. You know, it's good to see a smile back on Sarah's face. Sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, he got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician on the take. And his storms just raging. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at a farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. OK. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. This is Mama Motors, yours. If you want it, Tommy. Thanks, Ralph. Working late, Ralphie? I says his sleep when F -F Frank sleeps. Man, he's been working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ralph. Booze records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f -f -f fixed the cars to Tom. I, I changed the p -p plates again. You can't be too careful. See you in the morning. Okay. Seventy AM Lost Heaven Radio now brings you a special weather report. The heavens have opened, folks, and we're experiencing some adverse effects across the municipal area. A large storm front, not expected to arrive for several days. It lost heaven late this afternoon, releasing a deluge of rainfall on the city. If you've been out in the last couple of hours, you don't need me to tell you. There are reports coming in of a number of traffic accidents attributed to the downpour, with fender benders occurring in Oakwood and Chinatown. A more serious accident has occurred near the White Harbor Hotel, which is causing traffic to back up on the East Marshall Bridge all the way into downtown. The police department is attending incidents as they can, but they've now issued advice that people should not venture out on the roads unless their journey is strictly necessary. The roads are treacherous, ladies and gentlemen, so however a good driver you may be, it's just not worth the risk to you or anyone else. It would seem the best thing to do on a night like this is to stay at home with your loved ones and keep warm and dry. I know where I'd rather be on a night like this. In addition to the problems we've been hearing of on the roads, air traffic in and out of the city has been suspended by order of the Aviation Authority. Time schedule flights departing Los International have been grounded, and those scheduled to arrive into that airport have been canceled or diverted elsewhere. Now, 
As bad as that may sound, the latest report from the weather service that I've just been handed states that although the rain is heavy at this moment, and that all warnings should be heeded, the storm isn't expected to last all that long. Certainly, it doesn't seem like it will be anything like the big one of 1927. High winds are pushing the storm over us at quite a rate. We will, of course, keep you informed with news on the hour. But before I return you to our musical programming, let me reiterate that the Lost Heaven Police Department strongly advises against motor travel at this time. And on a personal note, I advise staying with your family, friends, or loved ones and waiting out this dreadful storm and the warmth of the home. That's all for now. Some music will be along shortly, and I'll be back to check in with you later. Thank you for listening. done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. I believe he was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. Damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find them. That bastard! 
It's just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here, just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. What kind of guy shoots a dog? Place is derelict. Weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! I'm gonna drop you off the bridge. I'm hit! Reload! Get cover! Gotcha!
me, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. Your cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy, all right. Make Lost Heaven PD look like pussycats. Search the farm, find Sam, get the hell out. Anyone else, we slip them the bump. Get it? Nothing will happen. But it never will. <laughs> yeah, border cops doing Morello's dirty work. Over 
We gotta get to him. You boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Can you walk? 
No, I don't think so. Okay, 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 just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. <laughs> Tommy, mm. stay here with him. I'll be back, I'll be back in a flash. Okay. It'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. Sure. Sure we are. Shot, go! Just right on me! 
Donnie too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. Oh, we're on there, dude! 
What are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. The Doc's already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. We'll be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight. The whole country will be united to get them going. The 
principle that applies to the employers applies to the workers as well. And I ask you workers to cooperate in the same spirit. When Andrew Jackson, old Hickory, died, someone asked, will he go to heaven? The answer was, he will if he wants to. If I am asked whether the American people will pull themselves out of this depression, I answer, they will if they want to. The essence of the plan is a universal limitation of hours of work per week for any individual by common consent and a universal payment of wages above the minimum also by common consent. My friends, I cannot guarantee the success of this nationwide plan, but the people of this country can guarantee its success. I have no faith in cure-alls, but I believe that we can greatly influence economic forces. I have no sympathy with the professional economists who insist that things have run their course and that human agencies can have no influence on economic ills. One reason is that I happen to know that professional economists have changed their definition of economic laws every five or ten years for a very long time. But I do have faith and retain faith in the strength of common purpose and in the strength of unified action taken by the American people. The president there speaking earlier this year on the National Recovery Administration. With music programming and up-to-the-minute news, this is WLH, Lost Heaven Radio. Feeling blue, then reach for a blue. A big break blue, that is. A cigarette... You're late. Dinner's cold. <laughs>